There's a new three-part documentary series on Hulu. It's about a kidnap kidnapping hoax that made headlines around the world. It's called The Perfect Wife, The Mysterious Disappearance of Sherry Papini, if I'm saying that correctly. Today I have Keith, about the, he's going to talk about the new docuseries and how he's doing after living through such a difficult time in his life. Good morning, Keith. How are you? I'm doing well. Doing well. Thank you. Okay, just a little sneak preview. Don't tell us too much. We want to watch it, but give us an idea of what we can expect in this three-part documentary. The documentary is going to take you through the whole process, and it's going to tell you about when Sherry went missing, um, how it was in our home behind closed doors, something that uh, has never really been released before, and ultimately where it all ends up at the very end. It, it's hard to talk about it without giving any spoilers away, but it, it, it's a great documentary uh, and a great team behind it. Well, let's talk just a little bit about the, the first time when she first disappeared. What were your thoughts and feelings? I was devastated. Um, it was the love of my life, mother of my children. I was, I thought there was no possible, there was no possible way that she, you know, ran off on her own. I was 100% convinced that someone had taken her and I did everything I possibly could to find her during that time. Um, obviously reaching out to the media, calling any, anybody I could to help in the search efforts for her during that time. And it was, uh, the, the worst time in my life was actually looking for her, not knowing if she was being tortured or even deceased. Um, it was a very, very painful time in my life. Any emotional or, or, or support from family members and friends during that time? 100%. I'm very glad you asked that question. My family, friends, support group is amazing. And really the Reading community and um, anybody I've really even interacted with that knows about the story has been so support uh, all of the years, um, even, even till now. Um, I'm just so happy and thankful for the uh, community that I'm in. With this whole thing being over with now, it, it actually seems like you went through a war zone, like PTSD. How are you feeling today? You kind of feel that way today? You know, it's doing the documentary. I mean, we ha I had to revisit some things that it's still in my memory, but I kind of been trying to hide it. And uh, it's been hard to go back to those moments, especially now with the new lens I have. You know, and in the, in the moment, I'm looking for my wife and doing everything I can where now I'm like, okay, she, you know, she was sitting on the couch watching everything unfold while everybody was looking for her. So it's definitely difficult to have that lens um, knowing what ultimately happened now. So speaking of all of that, where are you today? I am uh, trying to provide the best possible um, life for my children. Um, we are doing well. We're thriving right now. And I just want to get the truth out there. Um, I think everybody deserves it too, that if there's so many hours and time that was put into this. And I just really wanted to make sure that message got out there. So I'm kind of, I'm happy that the truth is finally coming out. How are you feeling physically and mentally? Physically, I feel great. <laughs> uh, and mentally as well. I, uh, I definitely been uh, hitting the gym more than I used to. So it's uh, <laughs> we're getting my frustrations out there. But uh, no, I'm feeling really good. Um, again, I have such a, an amazing support system that um, we're, I, we're, I'm doing good. Let me ask you this. What would you say to anyone, any individual that may be going through the same situation? What would you say to them? Um, surround yourself with good people, um, continue to think of the good in people, um, be true to yourself, be honest. Um, you know, things will, things will get better, but you just got to stay focused. Um, if you have children, obviously just focus on them. They're, they're the, one of the main reasons they are such amazing things to be around. They will brighten you up at, at any time. So um 
I would just say, I mean, it, it's probably hard for somebody to be in this exact same situation that I am, but I know a lot of people go through a lot of horrific things in their life and mine was just kind of publicized. So I don't think there's really any comparisons anywhere, but um, yeah, you just have to, I got to stay positive. Um, you can't go around, you know, throwing things around the room. <laughs> <laughs> it, it sounds like staying positive, being focused and hitting the gym a lot is an answer. In, 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 yes. <laughs> <hit the gym. laughs> I hear you, Keith. Keith, Papini, thank you so much for joining us. We're talking about the three-part documentary series on Hulu, The Perfect Wife, The Mysterious Disappearance of Sherry Papini. Thank you again, Keith. Keep hitting the gym and focus on those kids. I will. Thanks, sir. Thank you.